Reading is awesome. And so are you. And so is this book. It's called The Night Before Kindergarten. And do you know why I'm reading it? It's because I know someone who's getting ready to start kindergarten. And I thought this book would be a great one to share with everyone getting ready to go to kindergarten. Hmm, let's look around this room. I see two children and they have all sorts of things out. Let's start reading the story. Twas the night before kindergarten, and as they prepared, kids were excited and a little bit scared. Mm hmm. It's something new, unknown. They tossed and they turned about in their beds while visions of school supplies danced in their heads. Hmm, they are dreaming about all the things they are bringing in their backpack for their first day of school. Erasers and crayons and pencils galore were stuffed in their backpacks and set by the door. Outfits were hung in the closets with care, knowing that kindergarten soon would be there. There are their backpacks by the door. And is that a raccoon? Hmm. Okay. In the morning it came. School starts today. Would the teacher be nice? Would they still get to play? Faces were washed and teeth were brushed white. Kids posed for pictures with their eyes sparkling bright. Say cheese. Yes, a lot of pictures are taken the first day of school. It's true. Parents packed snacks and kids hopped in cars as if they were boarding a spaceship to Mars. Looks like everyone has remembered their backpack and their special outfits for the first day of school. Some kids brought blankets or their favorite stuffed bear in hopes they could nap like they did in daycare. Their parents exclaimed, you're big kids, wow. Let us hold your bears and blankies for now. Yep, blankies and bears don't need to go to kindergarten, but that bear is really cute. I would like to play with that bear later. The parents were worried their children would cry if they left them at school with just a goodbye. So they told their darlings, if you want, we can stay and make sure that everything will be a-okay. The teacher then greeted each one with a smile and invited the students to stay for a while. The students are sitting so nicely and listening to the teacher. And some of the parents decided to stay. Not all the parents, but some did, and that's okay. The room was filled with toys, books, and maps. But where were the beds for mid-morning naps? Hmm. There's not going to be any beds at school. Mm -mm. Toys, books, and maps, yes, but no beds. 
they colored and painted and played, Simon says, then tumbled and skipped and stood on their heads. They sang silly songs from beginning to end. Within just a minute, each kid had a friend. Aw, they're making friends. The children were happy. They loved Miss Sunrise. It was she who was in for a giant surprise. Hmm. Miss Sunrise is in for a giant surprise. She's near the parents. Hmm. When what to her wondering eyes should appear, but sad moms and dads who were holding back tears. Their noses so stuffy, their eyes red and wet. This was the saddest goodbye Miss Sunrise had seen yet. Hmm, I bet Miss Sunrise was surprised to see the parents so sad. Sometimes it's hard for them to say goodbye. She gathered the grown-ups on the magical rug, then sent them away after one final hug. The children all waved from the door of the school. Don't cry, Mom and Dad. Kindergarten is cool. That's so true. Kindergarten is very cool. If you're getting ready to go to kindergarten this year, you're going to love it. Let's look back at this book. The artwork was just fantastic. Here they are, going over all their supplies for school. They have their backpack and crayons and their new outfits are laying around. Hmm, what to wear, what to wear? Oh, he needs to find a pair of matching socks. It's the night before the first day of kindergarten. and they're dreaming about all their school supplies. Did I remember to pack crayons and paper and a pencil? What's this on the nightstand? That's unusual. Is it a dragon? I'm not sure. Oh, and everyone's getting ready. It's the night before school. So kids are in bed, their clothes are hanging in the closets. The parents are doing their nighttime routine. Backpacks are by the door and what? There's a raccoon in the yard. Hmm. Bright and early, get dressed for school. Put on your clothes, eat a good breakfast. Wash your face, brush your teeth. And don't forget to take a picture on your first day of school. I see somebody's packing a bag of lunch. At some schools, you can buy lunch, and sometimes kids like to bring their lunch from home. It's nice to have options. Oh, they have their backpacks. Oh, yes. Some people bring their blankets and bears to school, 
but that's really not the best place for them. Leave those at home. You can play with them when you get home later. You could also leave them in the car and then they're there when you get home from school. There's Miss Sunrise. She's saying hello to everyone. The moms, the dads, the kids. Miss Sunrise is greeting everyone who comes to kindergarten. And then the students, they sit on the rug and the parents are waiting to say goodbye. Some parents have a hard time saying goodbye. Some students do too, but usually they're having so much fun. The students are okay. There's toys and books and a lot of fun things in a kindergarten room. Plus, there's so many boys and girls to make friends with. I think that boy is looking for the beds to take naps. There's no beds in kindergarten. Is that a map? I live there in Florida and my granddaughters live in California. In kindergarten, you get to color and paint and write and play Simon Says. Simon Says, stand on one foot. And sometimes you get to tumble and skip and maybe even stand on your head. Singing songs is just so fun in kindergarten. I always say, sing loud and proud. And those little marks there, those are musical notes. The artist is showing you that they're all singing. Loud and proud, they're singing the song. And the parents are listening. There's so much to do in kindergarten and time will go so quickly. Before you know it, the day is done and you're getting ready to go home. But speaking of going home, it's time the parents go home. But they're all sad. They're afraid they're going to miss their little kindergartners. Miss Sunrise was smart. She knew maybe one more hug was what everyone needed. The children waved goodbye. They think school is cool and so do I and do you know what else I think is pretty cool reading that's right I think reading is awesome